Bonjour et bienvenue au Limoges CSP. Welcome in the Limoges CSP. Of the 20 European cities that have been home to 57 continental champions over the years, the third smallest, with a population of just 140,000, is Limoges, France. When it comes to basketball devotion, size does not matter in the case of Limoges CSP, whose basketball story started nearly a century ago and whose president Frédéric Fort is proud to be a part of it. The club was born in 1929. Uh, around the church of Limoges was named uh, Saint-Pierre. That's why the, the name of the club is Limoges CSP. CSP means Cercle Saint-Pierre. The name of the church. At that time, uh, the priest of the church decided to make some sport and create the club. Limoges did not reach the French elite until the late 1970s, but quickly made up for lost time, as proven by the 27 banners hanging from the roof of the Bourblanc Arena, one for each of the club's trophies in the last 35 years. The most special of them all is the 1993 Euroleague title, marking the only time a French club has been king of the continent. Fort was a member of that team, which went to the Final Four in Athens as an underdog, only to beat Real Madrid soundly in the semi-finals before rallying past Benetton Treviso by 59-55 for the title. That game, we are very the small team against the huge Benetton, and uh, everybody write the article uh, of the big win of Benetton before the game. What is completely normal when we see uh, the team they had with uh, Tony Kukoc, last game in Europe, Terry Tigor, uh, Stefano Wisconi, Milan Jacopini, a plus or less all the Italian national team. When at the end of the game, you know, for a French team, it was the first time in the history of basketball that we became European champion. It was something great. Great in Athens, great when we come back in Limoges because all the city was, uh, was waiting for us. Moreover than the, the, the game and the reminds we have of the game is all the, the memories we have from what happened in the city after with something great. The club has made sure to honour its past and its legends by wearing throwback yellow uniforms for Turkish Airlines Euroleague home games last season and by retiring the jersey of 1993 star Richard Dakouri, who spent 18 seasons with Limoges. Nobody now can wear the number seven and maybe in the future we'll take off some other jersey from people who make the history of the club. Fort returned to the club overnight in 2004 when Limoges CSP ran out of money and needed saving. Still a player with Italian team Avellino at the time, Fort dropped everything to go home, buy the club and become its president. Two months before you play against all the best teams in France and you start to play against team subdivision that nobody knows, that you don't know the player, you don't know the feeling and for our fans it was very 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 difficult. In the same time we took our time, we restart to build the club step by step, stone by stone. Exactly 10 years later Limoges was holding the French league trophy again and returning to the Turkish Airlines Euroleague. With its future now bright, Limoges' plans are huge and involve the building of a new modern arena. The gym is full every game. We have a big project with the mayor of the city to build something big, a new gym, around 10,000 people. And that's the best thing we can hope for French basketball, to have a big gym in the future here and uh, restart our history, come back in the main competition and prove that we really can play. Thanks a lot. I hope to see you soon in Limoges. Bye-bye. Au revoir. <laughs>